Hello YouTube, welcome back. It's Connor again. So today I've got a tip for next year's Cheltenham Festival. Um, it's going to be in the Mayor's Chase, uh, which is running on the Friday. The horse I like is Ellie May. Uh, she's currently available at 9 to 2. It might sound a bit short, but I'll give you, a re give you the reasons now why I think this is a proper bet for next year's festival. Um, firstly, I'm confident she definitely would, would have won the race this year with a better ride from Mark Walsh. Um, her and the eventual winner, Corey V, was a lovely mare. They cut each other's throats out for a fair portion of the race. Um, Mark Walsh just seemed intent on wanting to be upside Corey V. Maybe put a jump in under pressure, but it subsequently backfired on Ellie May. Um, he should have just taken a pull and sat in behind Corey V and then had to go with her up the hill. But he used up a load of Ellie May's energy, just uh, pushing her up sides, losing ground to each fence when Cole Reeve jumped right, subsequently forcing Ellie May to jump right, and completely in inconveniencing her uh, a lot of obstacles on the way round. I think with a better ride, Ellie May definitely would have won that race, and I think she's a really good bet for next year's festival. She's a super jumper, she's a gutsy little horse. Um, she she ran a free length second to Alaho at Furless. Um, prior to this year's festival, that form has obviously looked worked out really well with Alaho being super impressive when winning the Ryanair. Um, I thought this horse was super impressive at Nace the time before that over two miles, giving five pounds and a beat in to Shattered Love. Um. Cole Reevey then went on to Frank, the Cheltenham firm at Punchestown, with a win over Monkfish and Envoy Len. You do have to take that victory with a pinch of salt. I don't think either horse were right. Obviously, it's come to light the Envoy picked up an injury, and I don't think Monkfish was right either. But even so, beating an 80 90% uh, right Monkfish is still a serious performance from the mare. She's been a cracking mare all through her career, has Cole Reevey, and I think she'd be a, a cracking broodmare um but yeah looking at this race is the mayor's chase market on odds checker today is a serious lack of opposition for ellie may next year she's proved she acts around the course she's a gutsy horse as i say cracking jumper and super unlucky not to win this year's race with ultimately a poor ride costing her but i'll just go through the the market rivals at the minute Cole Reevey, is in there. She's currently in full, so she won't be running. Benny DeJew has been retired. Then you've got Mount Ida. I wouldn't be back in her, considering how she jumped for the first part of the Kim Muir. Um, and obviously that race was run over a much longer distance than the Mayor's Chase. Then you've got Put the Kettle On, who's just won a champion chase. She definitely won't be turning up in the Mayor's Chase next year. Further down again, you've got Honeysuckle, She's too good to be running in this race. She's not certain to go over fences. I would like to see her over fences. But she's either going to run in the champion or like the arc or if, she, if they do decide to go over fences with her. Then you've got Annie Mack, uh, who, to put it simply, Ellie May is a better uh, horse than Annie Mack. And then you've got Shattered Love, who Ellie May has just beaten at Nace, given £5 to. And she's also finished ahead of that horse at Cheltenham. Um, with a poor ride. Um, yeah, I think 9-2 to two is a more than fair price. It's probably about as short as I want to be playing anti-post. But I think 9-2, to two, considering the, the serious lack of opposition that is in the market at the minute, unless something comes from out of the rafters that's seriously impressive, I think Ellie May is going to take the world of beating in this race, and I'm more than happy to play at 9-2. to two. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, video. If you have, if you drop me a like and perhaps subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time, and I will be putting up a video, which I previously mentioned, um, with 50 to 1 tip for next year's Grand National. Take it easy. Thank you. Cheers.